In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy way to generate citations for your research paper. There are many tools available online to help make this easier, but not all of them are free or easy to use. Today we're going to look at a specific citation maker called MyBib for creating a works cited page or bibliography. This tool can be used online or added as a Google Chrome extension. It is also easy to use in Google Docs. So let's briefly look at creating citations in MLA format. Citations are created to demonstrate where you found your information. It also allows a pathway for someone else to access that information. In order to do that, citations must contain certain elements of information, including the author, the title, the publication name, and the date of publication. So now let's look at how to add the MyBib Citation Generator as a Google Chrome extension. From Google, locate the Chrome Web Store. In the search bar, type in MyBib. The first result should be the MyBib Free Citation Generator. Click Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. The MyBib Free Citation Generator has now been added to Chrome. So let's take a look at how to use MyBib in a paper. This one we're going to create in MLA format. No matter whether you're writing your paper in Google Docs or in a Word document, you want your format to look like this, starting with your name, the name of your teacher, the name of the class, followed by the date in this format. This should all be double spaced. Centered on the page should be the title of your paper. Now that my bib is installed as a Chrome extension, you'll see it up here in your bookmark bar as you hover over it. If you don't see it, click on the little puzzle piece and pin it to your bookmark bar by clicking on the little pin. So once you've completed your research paper, you're going to want to add the Works Cited page. So let's say that you've retrieved some of your information from this website, history.com, on the Cold War. The first thing you want to do is come up and we're going to highlight the URL and copy it. So click Control C or Command C. Then we'll come up and highlight the MyBib Citation Maker and notice that it already created the citation for us. It also tells us the source is credible. Now we're going to click Save to Project. So by clicking Save to Project, this opens up MyBib in a new tab. When you click Download Works Cited, it gives you the option of putting it in Word, in your Google Drive, or printing it, or just copying and pasting it. MyBib is relatively straightforward and easy to use. As you can see, you can easily add a citation, import it, download the Works Cited page, or you can choose from popular styles. This allows you to choose from a variety of popular styles, such as APA 7th edition or MLA 8th edition, the one we're currently using. Then you would click Save. When you're on the MyBib website, you can create a free account. Use your school's Google account. Click on Create a Free Account. This way you can come back later and access all of your information. It will ask you if you're a student, teacher, librarian, or other. Choose the appropriate one and click Create Account. You'll use your school's email account. Later, you'll be able to sign in with Google for future sign-ins. Now that you're signed in, you'll see your email address at the top. All of the information that you saved previously will be saved under your first project. You can also start additional projects. You can come over and name your project. Click on the three dots and then you can rename it. We can call this one the Cold War. You can continue to add additional citations to this project. Click on the Add Citation button. Now you can choose from website, book, journal article, a video, and more. 
So let's say you have a book that you want to enter. You can search for the book by title or ISBN number, or you can enter it manually. I can simply copy and paste the ISBN number and click search. And here's the book. So we'll click on it and it's created a citation. So we'll click save. And now this has been added to my bibliography. Now that we've added all of our citations, we're going to want to copy and paste this into our document. So we'll click on Download Works Cited, and here we'll click on Copy and Paste. And now we'll click Click to Copy. And now we can paste this into our document using the Command V or Control V. So we'll come back over to our paper, and we're going to want to add this at the very end of our document on its own page. So we'll insert a page break. And now we'll click Command V to paste it. And now your bibliography is complete in MLA format.